You're the first rip-off to actually do it properly. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you as much money as you want. I want a nanny, an au pair. I don't even need fit ones. Get mingers. I don't give a shit. I got a message um, off a, you know, like, unsaved number. I was like, oh, are you still up? I was like, fuck it, man. And it turned out to be me just eat driver. <laughs> that's what happened. Oh, no, you didn't. Because that's not good, is it? Jamie, look at me. <laughs> hey, we're fucking now. I buried a kebab in snow once. <laughs> like prehistoric man Nance killer in America Joe like fucking proper head the ball cunt but he killed Nance's hang on no no he was a nonce killer no he, he was a killer who was a nonce he was a killer who was a nonce oh that's different because yeah, a nonce yeah. killer nonce killer should be knighted <laughs> they're full of pedophiles they're fucking pedophiles Adam and I challenged each other to do each other's intro songs for a, the tour oh what um, was so I went um, right said Fred I'm too sexy because I thought it'd be really funny to have I'm too sexy and because I'm starting my tour in Belfast and Dublin 3rd and 4th of September 2022 he wants to choose the national anthem why to get we, me murdered. Do England and Ireland not get on or oh, something? No. Yeah. That's Probably gave you a discount for the cerebral palsy. Lost his carer. Oh, what's more sinister? Noncing or fantasizing that you are a cute girl getting nonced? <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be a new layer of sinister. Even kids would be like, you're fucking weird, you <laughs> mate. <laughs> Fucking that is wrong. Maybe the guy who's looking at the sun, though, right? He was a fan of Teletubbies and seen the baby in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> no. Got his fucking sinky winky out, lad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that was> too <laughs> easy. oh my god! Thanks for listening to Hot Water's Green Room podcast with myself and Tony Carroll. If you want to support the podcast, go to uh, YouTube.com, search Hot Water Comedy, or follow the link in the description. Or you can click join on any of the videos on there. Sign up for the podcast membership. So for just £3 a month, you get access to our podcast, including a bonus episode every week and early access to the public episode. And you'll also get uh, access to all the podcasts on the Hot Water Podcast Community channel. It's going to be the place to come for podcasts in the Northwest. So sign up now and be there before it was even popular. Go ahead. Three pound a month now. Hello and welcome to Hot Water's Green Room Podcast. Me, host Tony Cannell. And me, Jamie Hutchinson, <laughs> if you didn't know already. We've got a guest, Tony. We have got a guest. And this guest is a legend. Ah. Oh. I'll take it. Would you like to introduce yourself? My name's Dan Nightingale. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm a uh, a part time comedian, full time professional podcaster, and 41 year old YouTuber. Nice. <laughs> yes. That doesn't scream paedophile. <laughs> what does? Um, what does? Are you guys? You're oh, all right. You're nice. Yes. Look thank you very much, place. Dan. Thank you for coming on. Honestly, no thanks for coming on. Sorry for being late. I've right. fallen out of love with football. Yeah. And I, I'm almost it. oblivious to it now. So yeah. I was like, what is this traffic? Yeah. Trying to get into Liverpool at 10 to 7 <laughs> on a Wednesday. What? And Jamie was like, it's the match, not bad. I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God, be good. This, look at this. Hello. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, yeah. Look at you. Look at this. You see what? Lights. Good cameras. Fucking Binty Blair. Yeah. Once these cunts apply themselves, we're, it's taking a wedge of our money. I can see this coming. <laughs> You're the first. You're the first rip-off to actually do it properly. Well done. <laughs> well we'll done. We'll take that. We'll take that. that no, uh, gen, 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 yeah. like, so, have you noticed people being eggy about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, we've, we've had a game. few comments. Yeah, we addressed it on um, our exclusive one. Hot Waters uh, Green Room Pod exclusive member, three pound a month. Get exclusive access and a bonus. Sign Ep. up. Sign up. I did it nude yes. before. Um, <laughs> <laughs> dick out. Three pound a month. And because we, we had that's a good price. We had we had Rob Thomas <laughs> on, and you know Rob is you know antagonistic and stuff, but it's all for show. Everyone knows yeah. that. And we had all loads of comments just going, I just, "Why can't you just all be friends and big it's, each other?" We up? literally <laughs> are all friends. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's friends. There's two problems there. Yeah. Freddy is annoying as fuck. <laughs> so as much as he's my mate, yeah. it's so hard 
to not give a bit of <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah. To... <laughs> <laughs> like, we, honestly, we were about 45 podcasts in. Everything's going great. He's done one and a half. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'll talk about podcasting. <laughs> 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 he started pigoted where you have to have some fucking argument with a flat earther that no one knows and will no, not see again because they topped themselves a fortnight <laughs> after recording pigoted. And now he's just doing it in some fucking warehouse in Preston and he's realised <laughs> chatting shit with your mates is way more funny. Yeah. Freddie is honestly someone I speak to regularly. He's been on our pod loads. He's going to be on yours. Yeah, I bet. Been on, yeah, been yeah, on yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, it, but it's hard not to. It's hard with Freddie not to be like <laughs> not to poke fun. Rob, it's his constant shtick of like fucking someone's ending up in the chalk here, lad. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> just like, right, just, just but if you don't know us, it. you can see why people are like that, can't you? You know what I mean? Like, Everyone's like but, Tony Carroll. You're Adam's. One of know, best, best mates. mates I know, I know. I've known you for ages. Yeah. I've known Jamie for ages. Yeah, we all go on each other's yeah. podcast, but it's just Rob's constant <laughs> fucking <Yeah>. banter. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Rob, shut up, man! And then at the roast, when we did the roast, yeah. I started doing some jokes, and it's a bit mean because I did some jokes about people that weren't there, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is a bit it, it, not really the the game. Yeah. But I was like, um, I've got some noticeable absences. Uh, Rob Thomas couldn't be here because we wanted it to be good. <laughs> and he looked so fucking crestfallen afterwards. It's because like, he, can't, he can't defend himself. Hell, lad, yeah. lad, yeah. Boy, did that come from? You like, <laughs> came from your shtick, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Constantly. <laughs> but I tell you what, Binty Blair, you fucking genius. Look at this. Yeah. Proper table, proper fucking comedians, yes. proper branding, proper lights. I'm just pointing at a microphone. Lights. <laughs> I know the industry. <laughs> It's nice to see someone actually doing it properly. I mean, the yeah. camera angles were a bit funky at first, but you've sorted them out, I've yeah. noticed. I've been watching. Yeah. Been... Yeah. It's just... <laughs> we, in, it... we initially... But genuinely, it's nice to see you guys doing it proper. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, mate. yeah. We, um, we initially... <laughs> can, Binti, can you build us one as well? <laughs> with this, I think we need one. With this sign, we initially ordered a three-metre sign because we got... <laughs> You know, metric and imperial, and we got it all to cock, and it was bigger than the room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this is going to be doing live shows yeah. too, yeah. Oh. and that's going to look fucking mint at the yeah. back of a stage, oh, isn't we it? Shouldn't have burnt yeah, it. Well, yeah. We should you not did, have burnt it. Did you burn it? <laughs> <laughs> Useless. <laughs> <laughs> not burn that. Um, it's also kind of um, like obviously we do it in the day at Have a Word, but actually, like we just recorded our Patreon late because Adam was coming back from London. And there is a little bit of magic in the air in an evening. Like yeah. afternoon gigs are pretty pretty much always shit. Even the ones at the festival. Like, it's different at the festival. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, You're not. tired. It's, You've just yes. had cornflakes. You can't run about the night, isn't he? Yeah. Yes, isn't he? There so, is something yeah. about getting... Obviously, the traffic for the game was a bit of a ball late. But I'm like... I feel keyed up because I'm drinking energy drink at half past seven. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the closest that I get to cocaine. Um, <laughs> apart from when... Do you ever go back to back, recording wise? No. No, we do. We do an episode. We do an episode. Yeah. Oh, yours oh, are a lot very longer, rarely. We might have to do two guest sections, but uh, I mean, I think we might have done it once, and we try and avoid it. Yeah, because I I recorded another one pod, Rob's and Wozniak's podcast. They had a Patreon special where we played poker and had a few drinks. And it was whoever's editing that deserves a fucking Pride of Britain award because that turned into a fucking horror show. Not yeah. just, not charismatically bad. Like, oh, it's chaos. It was just a fucking horror show. Um, it's a weird thing to get right though, isn't it? Because you do your, your public episode, which is to get everyone involved. Yeah, so yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're almost watching your P's and Q's, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, that's the main night that's and then there's an after party which is yeah. the patron yeah. and like at, you run clubs don't you yeah, you know yeah. at the after party everything gets a bit squirrely yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. and it's not for everyone <laughs> no so not. i, I kind of i think patreon exclusive should be a bit yeah i it, mean you were fucking phenomenal value at our last lock-in oh yeah oh, I, i've i've got anxiety over it. i've so i've watched oh you'd gone at the end i watched <laughs> the first two sections no you'd gone and then it was just great. to see because i had like Barry Dawes messaged me, um, who's one of my favourite podcasts of all time, the Power of Pod, I absolutely adore yeah. it. Um, so let's it, hope he gets over those allegations. <laughs> and he, he messaged me and just went, good luck, mate. And, and I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Girls can't testify. Gen- gen- genuinely. 
shouldn't do that battle with Barry because he'd be like, mate, I'm really worried about that. <laughs> 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 oh, what, what do you mean? What are you implying? Like, a lot of people, like, I'm getting a lot of shit. Because yeah. Yeah. He, he messaged me, oh, mate, just want to say thank you for your kind words. And I went, what, what, what kind of words? What kind of words? Oh. What have I said? Just Do you like, know who needs a fucking uh, Pride of Britain award? Uh, Ishan Akbar for getting you in a taxi. Oh, no. Oh, when oh. the ta- like, I mean, it's become legendary now, but the woman at the Premier Inn in Runcorn pulled Ishan aside as he put you in a room where, is he, can I just ask about your friend? Is he drunk or does he have cerebral palsy? Because oh, if he has cerebral palsy, we have to put it on a form. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Shout oh, Jesus. That's how drunk you got. Oh, what are you I doing was... for your... What's the plan for your... Pa- I, what, you're, 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 I know you're not a patron. You're on the... No, we're it's, d- a, it's the same vibe, though. We haven't decided yet, have we? Yeah. We're, we're we, just coming together, though. We, we, we didn't really know each other. So we met, obviously, so, on 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 your night. So the last stand. The last stand. We met then. And, you know, we spoke since. And then we, we've decided to do this together with Hot Water. And we, we were still trying to find so it's kind each of other s- out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah. It's, but um, it's going well. It's going well. Yeah, it's, Building, feels like course. he needs me. Yeah. He's, oh, yeah, yeah. Mate, I've seen the, I've guy. seen the. Obviously, we watch the Twitter reaction. I, I would expect a lot of our lot are watching this, and yeah. uh, hopefully, some people watch this and then find us. That'd yeah, be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I've noticed a load of positives, like, yeah. t- like really good stuff. So that's great, and you're still getting to know each other. We're babies. Like, yeah, yeah. We exactly. feel like we've been doing it for fucking ages. You and Adam, it, you and Adam, two knew, years. You and Adam knew each other, but on a circuit, but not like not like you were mates, but it wasn't. But now he's obviously a lot closer. You know what I mean? Well, so, it's different because I was like, I was a ten year veteran's a bit yeah. of a wanky word, but yeah. I was thirty. Yeah, yeah. No, I, like. 30, 29, 30. I've been headlining for five years yeah, yeah. when Adam did his first gig. gig yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so obviously, he's just this fucking 20 year old who's, he was, he was good straight he's away. Good. He just, he but just, so yeah. were you, and yeah, so yeah. was Lewis Calvert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and this, I've said this on our pod, like, it sounds like you're being an arrogant prick, but that's just, as a big fish. Yeah, yeah. In, yeah. in, I know, like, right now you're like, oh, yeah, of course you were not bad, but. Yeah. Like on the circuit, oh, yeah, yeah, there yeah. are there are. It's a ladder. It like, is, yeah, and, and, and it's, quite, it's hard to get on as well. You're very aware yeah, yeah. of where people are, like, yeah. and I've seen people abuse that status by being. Uh, they did it to me when I was starting out, really, yeah. uh, like dismissive and a bit mean and yeah. just just cunts, really. Because they're after because they're chasing they chase they you down, are they? Really, are they? Yeah, no, but like, weird, are they? but I, I I never liked that. I just wanted to learn from everyone. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I I watched those more experienced comic comics be cunts and everything. Yeah. So I was never cunty to anyone. Yeah, yeah. You still see it now, and I think it I think it speaks really badly of someone's character that they are dismissive of someone. I think it's who, a, when they know they're looking up to them. Yeah, I think yeah. it's insecurity as well. Oh, have they seen you with potential and stuff when you do, when you was doing middles? And they're like, I'll I'll try and keep him in his fucking box and stuff rather than big you up. But in any trade, in any fucking job, that is country, isn't it? Yeah, it it is, yeah. Because that person knows how much it means to when the younger lad is looking up. So even though I didn't we me and Adam weren't mates, like I was always sound with him. I remember him getting his fucking he he basically got an encore in Chester on his like eighth gig. (laughs) Which, you know. Yeah, I made I a big point of because yeah, it's yeah. fucking impressive it when you're a, a brand new act to do. And I think there's been moments as Adam came up where I was just, I was obviously like kind enough to him that we, yeah. even though we were at different points in our life, I'm yeah. 10 years older, yeah. he was younger and he was a more inexperienced. We always got on nicely. Yeah, yeah. But then Adam, through his talent, has caught up. Yeah, you, yeah. Th- the ladder is nothing to do with experience. The ladder's oh, no, more no. about what you can do. Work and, ethic as well, isn't he? And five years he's ago. One of, he's one of, the, year, yeah. one of the best people I've met, not just in comedy, in everything. Oh. He's a gig whore. Yeah. He's a gig whore. He's a gig whore. He's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to live. I'm having a night off in yeah, April. Yeah, no. Um, yeah. And so when we got to the same sort of level, yeah. and then obviously in all of that time, I haven't been doing social media. Yeah. I've been like, no, it's fine. You just do your gigs. And he's been fucking yeah. hounding it like brilliantly building his profile doing tours and uh yeah in the end even though we're from different places in the world almost like different like totally different upbringings but because we'd hit the same point comedy wise that's why i think it works and i think the fact that we're different it it lends itself to just that's it we've got older listeners who probably relate to the the boring shit I'm talking about. I've got younger fucking lunatics who are like, go on, Adam, <laughs> say it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Say fucker in the ear. <laughs> yes, lad. But you're Mother Teresa <laughs> in the ear. Do the voice. But you're also similar 
uh, although you're different age groups and different backgrounds, but you're similar hierarchy of comedy wise. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, it's not a headline act and a decent midlife. No, but that's it's, what I mean. I don't both, think. I, in yeah, my head, I'm like, maybe we should have done the pod there. years ago. And you're like, no, it wouldn't have worked. Yeah. It, it wouldn't have worked off. because so happens, because you need it? to be in and around yeah, the same yeah. point of the ladder. Like the ladder's a shit analogy, but mate. I've watched some of the stuff you've... It's chemistry, isn't it? Yeah. It's chemistry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're both funny, that sound, but yeah. a bit of chemistry. And well, it's nice like, being off the main road in Liverpool. It, like, <laughs> yeah, having yeah. having done a fucking podcast in a science centre in Runcorn <laughs> yeah. for the last year and a half, we're like, oh, my God. There's so little fucking personality to it, and it served our purpose beautifully. But just walking off the high street there and into the studio, yeah. past, like, 97 Chinese students. <laughs> Do you know how I found it? And certainly, <laughs> certainly the fucking so Chinese, mate. <laughs> yeah. It's so Chinese. I want to learn Mandarin just to be able to do some... Gavin just in front, of, did that, didn't in front of the queue at Hot Water. <laughs> just like everyone's yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking hell, is that damn from Have a Word? And me like... Tah, tah. <laughs> You shouldn't do the voice. Shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't do it. That's great. That. I genuinely meant that with no menace. Yeah. I would love to learn Mandarin. Have you ever um, Mandarin? Mandarin. <laughs> Mandarin out. <laughs> <laughs> Mandarin. <laughs> Mandarin, isn't it? Not yeah. Mandarin. <laughs> Have you watched it on YouTube? The guy that learn is learn Chinese. Oh, and, and, he, and he goes, and he goes around social situations. He goes around New York. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, "Excuse me, what are these?" And like, and they're basically going. This fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're saying. It up and like, okay. in, the, in, Ch- in Mandarin, in Mandarin, in Mandarin, they're like, who's this knobhead? And then he's like, on time, time for more. I'm like, oh, okay, it's great. Brilliant. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now, he, and then he's gone and he's learned some like really weird, like regional, like African, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but he's gone into like an African shop. He's like, oh my God, is this African? And you can tell like, on a fucking bell end. And then he does like their the dialect, and they're like, "No, not the tongue stuff. Let's not get your podcast cancelled." <laughs> but like a very a little known dialect from East Africa, and the Chinese people are like, "Fucking hell, Chinese is good, isn't it?" The Africans are like, "Say what? <laughs> Say what? Because there's a billion and a half fucking Chinese people speaking Mandarin." Yeah, but, but like, one village no in one. Ethiopia. Yeah, Ethiopia. yeah they're like. <laughs> Uh, I'd love that and uh, you watch the videos going that's me that's I'm like that I'd be like that except I haven't even got I've got a GCSE in French and couldn't give it a fucking B Um, Uh, just just hit 10k Patreones yes massive milestone congratulations my wife would just use some of this fucking money for extra (laughs) childcare babe I'll give you as much money as you want I want a nanny an au pair (laughs) I don't even need fit ones Get mingers. I don't give a shit. <laughs> this is how much I want extra childcare. I'll take men. I'd, I've, I'll have, and that's, you know, Chinese, sounds like I'm being so, A Chinese nanny. A Chinese man- Mandarin and look after his kids. <laughs> kids. Amanda. Amanda the Mandarin. <laughs> I just want more childcare. Yeah, so um, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah it'll probably be, yeah. might be careering towards 11K. This is out in a I don't know what's weeks, happening, boys. So. I don't know what's happening. It's went, it's went nuts, hasn't it? It's gone, it's gone nuts. Well, to be fair, though, mental. I signed up when you did the last dance, and not just because I won, but because it was such a mint yeah, it was, night. It, yeah, was it was fucking brilliant. sick. And it, the quality of those specials yeah. are fucking... I they're like Netflix quality. Well, do, you know, do you know what it was? Because I, I, I went on early, didn't I? So I went on a long... Oh, you, I was you, one of the... Well, maybe... You, you did us a favour, because yeah. you came in last winter in the yeah. middle of that bastard of a lockdown. Yeah, yeah. Where it was a bit of a grey area, like what we were even meant to be doing. But yeah. this is, I, I need, because like in our p- partnership or company, yeah. I'm always the one who's like, well, listen, you're going to think about it. Yeah. I'm not sure what, right. And Adam's like, fuck that. <laughs> um, so I was even like, I don't know where we stand with guests. Yeah. And Adam was like, we stand with getting our fucking guests in. Yeah. But not a lot of people would do it. No, I know. I, I think someone cancelled as well. I think it was the last so one standing you, as well. So you jumping in. Yeah, I just flew up there. And, 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 and when I got in there, I was like, because I've known Adam and Carl since we were kids, do you know what I mean, as well? And they're like, I've obviously knew, knew Dan a bit, but when I got in there and I seen it all the setup, and I was like, this is the fucking answer, something here, you know, like you could just tell oh, yeah. when you walk in. And, wait, and oh, you know got, what? It, we've it, got it, plans for that setup. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> and then when, when we done it, when we done it, it was brilliant. And then the response after it as well. And I thought, that's it, you know, like 
finding Adam and Darren mentioned to get me get me back on, and then when I got invited to the last stands in the Frog, I hadn't done stand up for, for years because as you know, everyone knows I'm always in and out, and and then since then, yeah, but you smashed it. You loved I it. Think, yeah, I think that's what it was. I think that made me fall back in love again with the comedy, and then I started writing more. And I've done gigs now since, and then I've got the pod with Jamie, so it's it, it's good the way that I've done that. You know what I mean? That, that last, so that last yeah, dance yeah. was ba- it bad. It was fucking epic. Because everyone that hadn't been on the pod struggled apart yeah. from Jamie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Jamie was... hadn't been on the pod. Yeah. So Robert had, had you on his pod and messaged me and Adam going, you've got to get Jamie on. Yeah. And, and, and it, it, now, one, now he person... sees himself right. as the head of Ajax Academy of finding podcasts. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They both know who I am. Yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> he thinks, I, I, I scouted Jamie like he was fucking there at the back of a comedy club with a making notes Rob, on me. Rob, stuff. calm down. Do you, know if you, you know, if you sign up to your pod, you can watch that back, can't you? Yeah. So you need to watch it because I had to follow him. I, I remember being... You smashed it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't go to... Hey, for what he done. Beat, you know, so, what I mean? so because it, too, it? I've done Beat the Frog for years. Yeah. The pod's doing great. Yeah. I, you know, we're not spending the money on childcare. Laura, hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> so... I don't need to do Beat the Frog anymore. Yeah, yeah. And Beat the Frog is a, g- a gig that I was in love with for years. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, I was the best at for it. Yeah, I came yeah. up with it. I put it together. Yeah. Other comedians were good at it. Danny Max, brilliant at it. Kiri was brilliant at it. Like, lots of good acts could also do it. But it was mine. Yeah, and then oh, yeah, last yeah. five years, I was like, fuck, I'm feeling old oh, yeah. and out of tune with this gig. And that's a sad feeling. Mm. Um, and just because of the pod, I got to make that decision yeah. of, like, oh, I can just... Let this be like Danny's still ripping it. Yeah. All the compares that are doing it, it will do Brennan's it's, it's, fucking yeah, brilliant. It's that's a fucking brilliant gig, and it's to, be, to be able to say goodbye yeah. with a massive piss up with all our pod people yeah. in. The frog staff were like, "What is going on?" Because yeah, yeah, it when it's cooking, our live stuff is like it literally is like a fucking cult meeting. Yeah, or it something. is, isn't it? Yeah. And the hard thing with the night was, I had to ask people that hadn't been guests on the pod. And it was a pod show. It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't a have. It wasn't a um, a beat the frog. No. And so, y- the only person who who had a, a great. Um, everyone did really well. In fact, yeah. uh, Alex Stringer did well. Yeah, and yeah. She's. Yeah. She she did, I yeah, think she did, she's yeah. really good and coming yeah. up. She's going to be strong because yeah. she's just she's she's got the funnies, but she's also got a really weird and weirdly confident stage presence. Yeah. yeah. Um, while playing it kind of low status, she's really interesting to watch. But Jamie did his yeah, bit, and it was epic. yeah, it was it's excellent. I really nice liked. role. Um, but with like beat the frog, because the thi- the thing is that pe- people who watch the podcast don't look, realize is every Northwest act coming up to you like sees you as like their big brother. Yeah, yeah. You're like, and it's yeah. like a, an involuntary role that you've got. But everyone's just like, Dan Nightingale said he liked me. And you like, and you hold on to that, do you know what oh, I mean? that's nice, isn't it? And you, you just, you've had that for a decade. Like, Ro went through that, didn't you? Yeah, well, yeah, ev- yeah, Well, everyone did. So yeah. it's always been that mutual respect there. So even us to do the last one was fucking Yeah, I was, but Yeah, I was made the one on the way there. I, Carl drove me up there and in the car with Carl. Carl was like, you're not ready for this. And I was like, ready for what? He was like, like all these people here, they're going to know you. And I was like, shut up, lads. It's like, whatever. Got out the car straight away. Tony Carroll, can I have a picture? I was like, what the fuck's <laughs> going on here? But it was boss. Mate. All the people are like so nice and friendly. And yeah, yeah, just yeah. the whole occasion. It was just fucking, it was beautiful. Yeah, it? Yeah, it was I love it. Brilliant. That's it what brilliant. every one of our live shows has been yeah. like that. It's like, yeah. it's like being super famous. Yeah. But in just in a bubble. Yeah, yeah. As soon as you walk around. Well, the, and also you go over a kebab. Yeah, yeah, you just like back to the yeah, 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 yeah. Mate, I went yeah. to, um, I went to the road <laughs> show after party because we yeah. recorded him. It was late recording, so I couldn't see the show. But I didn't, I'll just come backstage, whatever. Um, I was walking into content as the audience were coming out and I felt like a fucking beetle. <laughs> I just <laughs> yeah. got fucking swamped. It was fucking... Yeah. It, and it's a massive ego boost because it is, yeah. but it's obviously... My mate Claire yeah. from Chester's just getting into the pod. Like, after two years of me doing this pod and literally dicking on about it every fucking day yeah. on social media, she's gone, what is it? She's, l- <laughs> she's on a different <laughs> yeah. fucking... I love her to bitch, but she's honestly on a different wavelength. Yeah, And... She was like, oh, I've watched a few. Vicky Patterson from Geordie Shore finally got her. Yeah. She was like, oh, I fucking love Geordie Shore. Yeah. Oh, Nathan. We've had Jimmy Carr. Couldn't give a shit. Vicky Patterson <laughs> was the one. Yeah, she was great. And uh, Claire came down to the roast show. I was like, you can have tickets. We've got guest list plenty. Yeah. Come down. Brought two of her mates. And she hadn't realized what was going on because she's a bit away with the fairies. Yeah. 
I could say we've got 150,000 patrons, and in her head, she's like, good for you. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. She's just unaware. But you cannot avoid it when you're in a room of 750 people, yeah. and the energy's mental, and everyone's there taking the piss out of me and Adam, and fuck me, it was funny. And she was like, <laughs> like she was almost like, Incredulous, like he's famous. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's weird. And as she was saying it, someone came and went, Lot, can I have a selfie? Fucking love it. She was like, Oh, no, it's weird. And then at the end, probably yeah. as you were coming up that queue as they were leaving, I just ducked my head in to say goodbye to her. And she couldn't say goodbye to me for people trying to go, Hey, Dan, can you? Hey, who yeah. fucking loved it? Yeah, and she yeah, was yeah. like, because she's a bit on the spectrum, she was like, oh, what's going on? And she was like, are you going to a bar for a quiet drink? I was like, absolutely not. No, no. We're, we're going to Pop World. We're taking and over Pop World. Fucking hate it. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. poor people at Pop World must have been like, what the yeah. shit is happening? It's a quiet Sunday where some like old pervs and some girls are going to be dancing around and like some dirty old bastards trying I'm to bad, buy. I'm bad. That was a Pop World. Right. Well. Honestly, we could have snuck you in just through sheer numbers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was just a swell of people. The DJ was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and then obviously he asked someone. So every five minutes, like, big shout out to everyone from the Have a Word Show. <laughs> oh, this God. is 5678. <laughs> <laughs> have a word. Not bad. Play a song that was written after 2003. Um, okay, here we go so with so Mambo number five. <laughs> Again. So uh, after Pop World. I fucked off. There was too many girls. I, like, I I left. mental women like you're right. Yeah. I, you'd look you'd look in a different direction, and a girl would be like, I'm like "Oh, this I, is I got, I'm married. Have I need a to get out. Groupies, la. I, I got I got s- I got so involved. Hey, Jack, in... you get some one day. Yeah, you'll have groupies soon. I, I, I groupies to... isn't the right word. It's just like women who are like, I know you're married. Just <laughs> jizz on my leg. <laughs> is that vibe? Yeah. You're like, I um I there was a, a girl who was apparently interested in me from. I only heard this off Rob Tommy, so it could be bollocks, but I was so engrossed in a dance-off with someone. I don't know why I go to mine. No, (laughs) I'm into... uh... Is she she proper into you? What? Have we got a name? Oh, I don't know. We need contestants for the Blind Date show. I've heard about this, James. Tell me before. Um, uh, I've written some questions on this fucking amazing. Do you want to explain what this this Blind Date show is going to be like? Half half Blind Date. Yeah. We've got uh, Finn, our assistant producer, Adam... Uh, King Led Row, Jamie Hutchison and Lauren Patterson as the proper contestants. Yeah. And then we've got three victims for each of them. And we're going to do it blind date. And I'm Scylla blacking up. <laughs> so that's Scylla black. Yeah. Ing up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember that Chinese voice? Uh, from uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not allowed. Um, and is it going to be a proper date? Are you going to win a proper date with them? If or, like, or is it just for fun? Or? Yeah, we haven't got there yet. But oh. uh, Carl was like... We probably need to hire like a, a bar and like set up cameras. I was like, no, they're going hovercrafting. Do you not remember Blind Date? In my head, Blind Date was always like, no bed date. He's thinking of taking me out, isn't he? I think he might be. Yeah. Like, we're not doing, we're not Man setting knows. up a table and like yeah. bringing yeah, lights, <laughs> which are phenomenal, by the way. Rob Thomas, buy some lights. Come on, mate. Um, Job Blind no, Date. No, we're, we're hovercrafting. And uh, if you can think of a shit date, Give us a shout. Have a yeah. wordpod at gmail.com. Do you know how Blind Date ended? Scylla Black, um, her, hus- her husband died. She died, didn't she? Yeah, but when she was still alive. Yeah, when that it ended. ended it. That did yeah. end it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she died, um, didn't she? she? Died. Yeah, that stopped it. Her husband, yeah. she said she had contact with her husband through a seance or something and went, you should end Blind Date. That's how it. Right. That's how she and she went, all oh, right, maybe it's time to end. All right, cool. Yeah. I'd be so fucked up if from the grave Laura was like, Stop doing the part. <laughs> <laughs> like, what yeah, the yeah. fuck do you care? <laughs> You're dead. You don't have to pay for the kids. <laughs> Silla Black's dead husband, no. like, stop doing oh, your no. job. <laughs> Just wear black and mourn me. Sack your Chinese <laughs> nanny. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dan, Mr. Dan. The children are crying. <laughs> She's Welsh. <laughs> Um, yeah, so after Pop World, um, I couldn't get get into my hotel. Right. So I stayed in Premier Inn at Lime Street. Right. I didn't stay. And they wouldn't let me in because I was... You had terrible palsy and you knocked it to box. I was too pissed. It's a random I'll show you too pissed. I've been on Have a Roast. Oh, God. Just fucked. And I was trying to search my emails for my email confirmation, but was searching Travel Lodge 
Because I didn't. I'm, yeah, yeah. That's, I, so that, I got the wrong. You, like, I want to take the piss, I, but I that's easy. Yeah, I got the wrong yeah, branding. Really fucked, yeah. Tried to show it on my internet banking, but it was linked to my credit card instead of my debit card, and they just went... Internet bank. <laughs> he's, on, he's on Just Eat. Oh, where's the internet bank I was like, <laughs> do you want to collect? Got a taxi home from Liverpool. All right. To Manchester? Yeah. It's only 60 quid, so it's it's pretty Not cheap bad, is mistake, it? really. Yeah, you probably gave you a discount for the cerebral palsy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Lost his carer. <laughs> Got... <laughs> Got a message. Got a me- it's great making Vinci laugh. Yeah, when you That's make the first laugh. time I've made it last since 2014. <laughs> <laughs> since we're in the fucking crown, lad. I got a message um, off a, you know, like, unsaved number. I was like, oh, he's still up. I was like, fucking hell. And it turned out to be me just eat driver. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave your food on the step, mate. <laughs> Jordy. You ordered, you ordered food on the way over the taxi to I ordered food on like the M62, whatever it was. Ordered food is. for your house? For for my house. And then forgot I'd ordered. Brilliant. And then. That's but, smart. And then it was like, yeah. oh, are you still. Are you, are you there? Are you. Are you oh, oh, could God. be. <laughs> in your dick, so. And then Farouk just left loads of chicken on me. Donna kebab. <laughs> what's, your, um, what's your pissed up, just eat sort of. Right, well, yeah, with delivery, what's your option? I don't eat. If I'm pissed up, it's fine. No, it's when I'm drunk. No, I can't. If I'm pissed up, it's fine. I'm chicken. always in someone's kitchen chatting shit till like eight in the morning, so food's the last thing on my mind. Right, is that just booze, is it? Yeah, 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 just yeah, booze. Yeah, yeah. Just booze, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like booze. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta go drinking with Tony. Yeah. I um. So the next day, my mum said I brought the chicken from the step and just left it in the hallway, but near the door, as like a door stop. Right. I slept till one. I was doing work at half nine. I had like loads of missed calls. How the fuck you've got any job, Jamie? I know. It's unreal. So the director... Your commitment to being unemployable <laughs> is unreal. Well, I, I had um, the director said, can you let us know what's going on? I went, you know, when you're that fucked, I couldn't even be thinking of a lie. I just went, look, I got pissed and I slept right through. Do you know, will you be in tomorrow? We need you. Because I was the only one doing my job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was the only one in recruitment. Yeah, literally. It's, it's I mean, on that my seems shoulders. like a force. Like, <laughs> I don't trust. I mean, the, what I don't trust the Jamie with these responsibilities? I, mean, I think you'd be in it, every right to be like, why, <laughs> why? <laughs> so the book stops for me. And Tuesday, I was, and Monday, I was just rattling around, and in my head, right, I had, I thought, oh, so it's only me in recruitment. I've, and I've, the week before, I'd faked a week off because of COVID. So I'd not been in for six working days now. And I've gone in and I'm thinking, oh, I've not updated the new starter spreadsheet. How many times have you had COVID? I mean, not not oh, actually had it. Oh, a few, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because well, I remember, I've, I've, I remember I've, COVID being cited as a reason that you couldn't do a gig in December. Yeah. And I asked you, like, how, how was it going <laughs> over? And you were like, you'd forgotten <laughs> oh, that yeah. you used it as an excuse. You're like, I haven't had COVID. <laughs> I was like, what about Dean's gig? You were like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm all right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting over it. I might have short COVID. Do you know that one that you have when you can't get to Liverpool on a Wednesday night? But by Thursday morning, it's fucked right off. Fucking, I was at Omicron. Yeah, no, yeah, something like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Delta. Taxi. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, go on. Sorry, go on. So I'm, I'm rattling around. Oh, I've, I've left. I've left. I've not updated the, the, the CRM. I was not updated the new starter spreadsheet, and there was loads of not serious jobs, but deadlines have missed, and offset are coming in, and there's just loads of little fires, and I just went, I'm just gonna have to let this burn. There's no way I can prioritize any of it. Do you know when you're that stressed? Oh, like yeah, that? yeah. So, yeah. I, classic business technique. <laughs> so I yeah. 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 yeah, there's so just much let, to do. Just let it I'm burn. not gonna do anything. There you go. <laughs> I can't give any of these the priority they deserve. So what I'm going to do is go home and eat my doorstep of chicken. <laughs> That's what happened. Oh, no, you didn't. The next day, yeah. You went home and the chicken by the door. Oh. I, I, I'd let it in in the morning. Right. So my mum put it in the kitchen for me. So it was... Right. It weren't, it weren't Not damp. next to a radiator in, in the, at the front door. Because <laughs> that's not good, is it? Jamie, look at me. <laughs> Do you know that you can't leave meat next to a radiator? It was in a bag. All oh, right. Oh, oh, it's in a bag. <laughs> oh, 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 o
fine. Plastic. Ah, fine. Paper. He can't breathe. Oh, my God. Paper. Classic heat resistance materials. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a fridge. Paper bag mirror it's radiator. Like, no one, hey, no wonder you're always being sick when you're eating. Fucking hell. All the fucking meat's contaminated, that's yeah, why. Maybe. Yeah, I don't have any... I've had stuff Never out, changed, though. I've had stuff out of the bin before that I threw... That I've ordered and threw in the bin and dug it up. So I just get it back out. I buried a, yeah, I buried a kebab in snow once. <laughs> <laughs> like a prehistoric man. Like a fucking Inuit. <laughs> oh, what he's dug an ice hole. <laughs> Where... <laughs> Where's your shish kebab, Jamie? <laughs> On the end of this rope. <laughs> it was in the winter. It was in the. Uh, fucking brilliant. It was the winter of 2009. <laughs> 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 na, 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 na. <laughs> we all remember it. So many people died. But not from food contamination. Uh, not from E. coli, because it was so cold. Uh, and I, I was grounded, but I sneaked out, went on the piss, and I got a kebab on the way home, but I'd locked myself out. So I had to go in, like, Jimmy, the door open through the back door and sort of break in. But I thought the, the evidence of me having a kebab and the rappers would incriminate me of sneaking out, not breaking into the door and waking everyone up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in my logic, it was snowing, and I just put loads of snow over my kebab. I don't know why. No, I, honestly, yeah, yeah. drunk and twat, <laughs> I can see. Yeah. I, I, I love the thinking. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, no, chill, chill, not I'm going to be out. Hey, it's not gonna just, give not me just put it in the bin. <laughs> just book a bed in the snow. Oh, because yeah. mums are fucking oh, knowledge. Oh, mums yeah. know what the bin looks like. You're thinking like. all this while you're standing here yeah, pissed I, in the snow. I've going, yeah. yeah. I know. I love her, but she's sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> well, fucking now has gone past. Oh. You've hey, blue lips like that. Yeah. Where can I hide this kebab? I know. <laughs> Hand <laughs> in <the> trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Smoothing it over. Smoothing yeah, it over. Yeah, yeah. So but, she doesn't notice. Yeah, and then. You know, the next day she's going, why's the kebab in the backyard? <laughs> so snow's got to go It must have fell from next door. Have you asked next door? Piss wet through. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking eight degrees. <laughs> Bastard. Yeah, so. yeah, you'd have got away with that if you were in, like, northern Finland. <laughs> the, fucking ke- the fucking kebab meat mel- melted the snow. Finnish mums, they get to like May and they're like, oh, look at the fucking takeaways everywhere. A winter's full of fucking. Oh my God. That yeah. I, 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 I totally shit, yeah. makes sense. I fucking love. I'm just, as we finish up here before we do uh, the new material night, I'm going Shiraz. I, I fucking lo- I love chicken. Not um, Donna chicken, yeah. but a proper like. Like, grilled chicken kebab. Yeah, grilled chicken yeah, kebab yeah, with... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my... Yeah. Chicken tikka kebab. Oh, yeah, that's, my, that's my flavour. This episode is sponsored by... <laughs> tikka Tony <laughs> Tuesdays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've decided, right, because we haven't got a sponsor yet. We've just decided... <laughs> We've just decided that we've just we're just going to take small businesses in Liverpool and make them and make them ours ourselves. <laughs> nice, the leather shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. The That's shop, the next yeah. one. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they clearly don't want but a sponsor. If we just keep doing that, one of these businesses might see it and then go, you know what? Come on, then. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then we'll get three nabsies because they definitely understand what podcasting is. <laughs> <laughs> Watch yeah. me and Jamie oh, leather yeah. jackets next part like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was wicked banter. Love me, love me. <laughs> wicked people banter. want chicken tikka. They watch your stupid podcast. They buy chicken tikka. <laughs> And it sounds really oh, well in it, January. Imagine me and you get leather jackets for the leather <laughs> Oh, just do it. Don't even reference oh, no, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't even I reference it. Do, I just for the next episode, yeah. just both sit here and just like... Just leather jackets. We're at the point now of the, the pod income where I'm like... You know, I'm the sensible one. Yeah. I've lost all of that now. I'm like, let's just do it. <laughs> yeah. We're doing a track day yeah, where I'm buying, I'm buying a boy <laughs> racer car and the budget's fucking ridiculous. I've already found it. It's in Pontefract. It's a bright orange 1991 Ford Escort that someone has put a lot of fucking effort into, but is obviously ancient and bright orange. I'm going to go to Pontefract, buy it, and then get it. Uh, I'm going to get the biggest dickhead spoiler that the suspension can take. I want, de- is it decals on, on boy racer cars? 
I'm just going to get our patrons to suggest what we should have on it. So it's clearly going to be like the nonce mobile oh, on the yeah. side. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Big then, dildo stuck on the front of it. And then we're yeah. driving it to a fucking track day. And I'm going to ask Paul Smith if he's going to bring his orange Lambo and he'll race out. <laughs> <laughs> so I want Smith to race me in an actual race <laughs> with yeah, me yeah. with a 1991 1.4 feet <laughs> fucking escort. <laughs> oh, it's going to be amazing. Really Same there. color and everything. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, when you get to when you get that first sponsor yeah promise me you're gonna go to the leather shop and treat yourself <laughs> yeah we will we will yeah. definitely yeah um, definitely so um after all that i was just like i'll just re- i sent this email and i resigned like i was a league oh one god. manager oh my god i forgot that we were still doing that yeah. sorry so, jamie no, it's all right. <laughs> hey, i got distracted hey. by we have, finished um, takeaways we have d- <laughs> <laughs> that's fluid don't worry cut that out <laughs> matthew cut that out <laughs> don't um yeah, so I, I sent a resignation letter like I was a League One manager. <laughs> just oh, like, that, yeah. like, it's of a heavy heart, and I'm going to have to resign with immediate effect. Are you done? Yeah, yeah. resign, mate. From full the salon time. stuff? Full time now. Full time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes, mate. Congrats, man. Full time comedian, like part time podcaster. Jamie's a big sign in for full time <laughs> comedy. <laughs> Want to welcome him in. He's going to be a, ma- a massive addition to the club. But he hasn't, you know, he hasn't got a gig on Saturday, so could not. No, that. Huge agent. Yeah. I'm the chairman. Welcome to, welcome, Jamie. I just thought I'd do well for comedy club and uh, my family, and it's just a great opportunity for me. Thank you. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> do some keeping. Why do you always say that? You always say the same shit, don't you? Yeah, like, oh where, you know, like footy players. Like it's like they've got the same the same script off like their PR manager. So what? Like when 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 does anyone ever go like, oh the fuck I made up me? You know, sign for Liverpool. Like, could I have loads of money? Give me able to get loads of brasses, loads of drugs. <laughs> Why it's is gonna, it? Gonna really affect your sponsorship, isn't it? That's what I'm spending my oh, money. Yeah. Oh, in America, like they just they're so religious. They're yeah. like, oh, it's just a, I want to thank, thank God, God. I want to thank God, and just you know, oh, it's all mom. His plan. And you're like, yeah. well, so he's a big fan of the LA Rams, but he fucking hates the Cincinnati Bengals. <laughs> <laughs> so you go, you go and get a Cincinnati Bengal. Like, well, How do you feel? Like God hates us. I'm really fucked off with God. <laughs> like, <laughs> the it's Lord. not God, is it? What about that massive flooding in Bangladesh that's killed 10,000? Yeah, they pissed God off. That's, <laughs> they're praising the wrong God. I, I was watching um, a serial killer thing, right? And uh, there was these detectives, and they're catching this fucking nonce killer in America, Joe, like fucking proper head the ball cunt. But he killed nonces. Hang on. No, no. He was a nonce killer. No, he was, he, a he, was a he was a killer who was a nonce. He was a killer who was a nonce. Oh, that's different. He was a nonce yeah. killer. Nonce killer should be knighted. I mean, yeah. All right. That's only Bell you. We're fucking pedophiles. Why do boxes always go to Tony Bell you became a non hunter. <laughs> I'm telling you. Hey, right, Binty, where are you? If you want to real make real money, get Tony Bell you in and make the hot water Tony Bell you non hunter series. Fucking every two days he's talking about non hunter. Like, fucking real life. Oh, my God. If he fucking. Oh, fuck. You've ruined my holiday. <laughs> Tony Bell you knocking him out. Um, Leave it, Tony. No, he's a non my, Fucking my, brilliant. My brother, um, he went to like an Ed the Ball school. And one of his mates... Not what they call it, is it, Jim? Oh, <laughs> oh you're one of those schools Dr. Where, you get, Catford. where you get the Vimto bus. And you <laughs> Head the ball school? Yeah, like, you know. Come on. Do you know what I mean? Uh, come on. Yeah, come on, Jimmy. Come on. Special needs school. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> right, 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 right. right. Thanks, <laughs> Jamie. Didn't know what you meant there. <laughs> you call it the head the ball. Head, head the ball school. <laughs> <laughs> Some fucking American. Of course, went to football American. college. Is that, is, that, is that what he do? Is that at sports school? <laughs> and one of his mates got caught by one of these pedo hunter things. And these pedo hunters, right, they're more annoying, arguably, than actual nonces, just because they're doing yeah. it for their own saviour complex gratification. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And they trap this lad with autism. I know, I know what you mean. <laughs> but nonces, it's not that they're annoying, is it? <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, yeah. like pedophile hunters are annoying, but it's not like that they're more annoying than like... Because no one's like, do you know the thing about pedophiles? Really annoying. <laughs> irritating nonces. Like, yeah. You know what I mean, though? Yeah. But they're not, they're not worse than pedophiles. <laughs> this guy's trying to fuck a kid. And this guy's just doing annoying YouTube content. Yeah, yeah. but he, and he trapped this kid. I know this lad, right? Because he came, he came to my house once with um, all my brother's mates, and it was, listen, I love them all, but it was like 
one flew over the cuckoo's nest. It was fucking mental. So, oh, did they have a fucking sleepover? No, they just came round and drank cider in my mum's backyard. And oh, went on chat rooms. <laughs> <laughs> so, went on kids' Where chat rooms. Mom? What? Where on the, your mom? On the, in the living room. And then was I was she, on. Who the, was watching? No, they, were, they can look after themselves. All oh, right, yeah, cool, yeah, cool, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Um, They've, they've graduated. They, go to, they go to a special school <laughs> on a special bus, but they're allowed to go around to your oh, backyard please, and get man. pissed. Hello, yeah. Surrounded by old chicken kebabs <laughs> from winter's past. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so my mum made them introduce them to me because um, I was ungoved and she thought it would wind me up. So was, and they're all like, you know, proper wide eyed and enthusiastic and that. They're lovely. Do you know what I mean? It sounds like I'm taking the piss and I'm not the art. Genuinely love her. And um, I went, what are you doing? What are you doing for the rest of the day? And this lad who got caught by the pedo hunter, he just went, well, I've lost, I've lost that. I'm going, we're going to Demdale Park. I went, Mark. And he went, I've, I lost my key. But if if you we're going to go, look up at the sun and see what it reflects off and then find it. That was his logic. <laughs> All right, all right, Mike. <laughs> like a little magpie. <laughs> oh, with the shiny object. So We're not you, taking the piss. They're so all right. If, <laughs> so if you imagine four or five autistic teenagers in the middle of Dale Park, looking up, <laughs> waiting to see a shining key <laughs> reflecting the right. That was where the day They're out. <laughs> That's where the day out was. <laughs> They're all blind. <laughs> you find your key, love? No. I can't see. I, I can't it. see. <laughs> That's what the day out was. Uh, all pissed up. off. So hang on. Me. This one that lost his key uh, was accused of um, nonsense. Uh, yeah, was he accused or did he actually do it? No, no. He was... He was how do you... You can't be much no. of an affected paedophile if you look at the sun for a key. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he's the thing is, it's like my I, I worry with Daniel with it because he'll just you know these fucking chatbot fucking women who go on your maybe face. Maybe the guy, the, maybe the guy who's looking at the sun though, right? He was a fan of Teletubbies and <laughs> seen the baby in the sun. <laughs> no, got his fucking sinky winky out, lad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, Do you know what my, fav- my favorite bit about this is? Is what looking at Benny going? Can that be clipped out for socials? <laughs> uh, I don't feel like disabled pedos might be a bit rich. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might phone a line. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Oh, fucking hell, Tony. The po-po. Sorry, he's only done 12 gigs in nine years, but he's oh. still fucking got it. <laughs> Sharp as a fucking <laughs> Oh, I was trying to make a serious point here. Oh, um, were you? <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. Okay, <laughs> just... That's not how you get 10,000 pictures, <laughs> lad. I was making a serious so- social commentary. And they, so they hoodwinked him and Joe you know, like saying, oh, and, and proper persuaded him to say, I'll meet you. Do you know what I mean? Just like say, and he's just like, oh yeah, I'll be friends and everything. And he's just naive and he's not got any malice in him. And then these pedo one is like, you fucking nuns, you fucking nuns. You know, right in his face. And yeah. he's like shaking like a shitting dog. And I just well, think fucking I mean, horrible the, the whole pedophile hunting thing is, they're, it's just an absolute mob, isn't it? It's a lot a, of them have a, been it, done it, for pedos. Right, okay. But Pedo I mean, the, they'll get sympathy initially because they're like, yeah, well, it's one of the worst things imaginable, isn't it? Yeah. Like, nonsense is as horrific as yeah. it gets. <laughs> so you're like, oh, yeah, well, if you're a if you're a pedophile hunter, you, you know, you, you're doing it for the, for the right reasons. But actually, it's not how you're meant to do it. For Are you good meant to bring the police, because, like... Yeah, there's, you, know. <laughs> you know, like, you get yourself in situations where you are not... Don't go on Facebook Live, you process. bring the police. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so you end, up, you end up entrapping people with fucking special needs no, yeah. who have genuinely been entrapped. Like, I reckon. However, I've seen some of those videos where, where you, like... Although I don't like how they do it. It's, re- it's, it's very baity and it's grandstanding and oh, yeah. it just... It's been done on stage by comedians. Like, it's mental because you're like, 
there are some that you start fucking sympathising with the guy yeah. that's being accused of being a fucking nonce because you're like, oh, they're such... They come across as such bullies and everything, yeah. but... There's the person um, who, who's who's there. They're still, they're still fucked up. You know, like they're still doing something wrong. Oh no, totally. You know I mean? but yeah, but, but not it, all the time though. No, they, when they, they, they get it wrong, it's trapped, they, they, But then they they're in there are people. there are instances where yeah. the guy is a fucking wrong. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And Some, yeah, yeah you, she's watched they, cause she had some, they lied on NBC to catch a predator. Yeah, that was. Oh yeah, yeah that yeah, was yeah. like no, but that like, the one that just the, the, it it was the Chinese guy that just fainted. Yeah, like, just, what are you doing here? And he goes, Yeah, well, like, the, the, the guy, <laughs> the like, the guy, there'd be chat, like, doing a chat room with, with like, with the, with the guy, and the guy will come round with, like, four cans and, like, Johnny's and that. And then he'll come in the door and, like, like, just want to put a voice off him upstairs going, I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> like, a little, some, like, 13 year old man doing a 14 year old girl's voice. It's not funny, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. And I was like, I'll be down in a minute. And the guy's like, okay. And he puts his cards down. What are you doing down. here? What are you doing yeah, here? Because just goes, Oh, you, you, we were friends on our Cassan- chat room. Because Santa just comes out of like, the door and goes, How oh, would you like to take a seat? And the guy's like, Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm, just, I'm just here to, to see a friend. And he's like, I've got all the chat logs. Then he sits down, and, 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 and to be fair, that I but think that's fa- where Chris Hansen is famous. Yeah. So I, when yeah. they see Chris, yeah. they're like, "Oh, Fuck. it's fucking Peter." But then, Hunter. but then when 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 he goes, I'm going, and that when he walks out the door, all police swarm and jump on him. You know what I mean? But like as I say, with the Peter ones, is in fucking Crocky Park, and they're on Facebook Live, going, "You're an yeah. answer." This, it's just like it's, this is where Tony Bellew is going to raise the game in UK. Yeah. You know, well, I think for he the, did so much for boxing. Watch English. what he's going to do. I think for, for our special. I think for us, one of our specials. I should be like Chris Hansen, and we should use you as bait. <laughs> it's just you up as a little. Oh, we, well, we we, 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 we so, oh, Should we tell I'm him about? Stop there. Should we tell him about big sex? <laughs> should we tell him about there. what's it? Big sex. I want to test you up as a yeah, child. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, because I'm gonna lick um, meatball marinara sauce off his chin for an advert. Uh, uh, yeah. I know. For the leather shop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to sell leathers. <laughs> Where are the full PVC? We um we talked about uh, having fantasies because you know the song Rush Hour. Oh, you send me. Yeah. We're traveling in a rush hour. Yeah. I like to fantasize about that song and think of myself as a female lead in a rom com where I'm a you know bit of a daddy's girl, cute girl, innocent. And Is this why you wanking? And no, no. I said this. No, it's not on sexual apparently. On the train a lot or in in cars. <laughs> And if we're in gridlock, and I just, I, and um, we get stuck in traffic. Are you watching Tony Bellew? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like this, like, 18 year old girl, and I've got like a skirt on and everything, and you know, white, white socks to my knees. <laughs> and Tony's driving, and Tony's driving, and he's not a jock, but he like defends geeks from getting beat up. Do you know what I mean? And then we're stuck in traffic, and rush hours on, and I just go like that. <laughs> and then he, Carries me yeah, over the threshold. Yeah, like this. yeah, yeah. And then he's just like, driving to the sunset. And then, and then he t- carries me over the threshold, lays and me down. And that's just something you fantasize about. Fucks me. Yeah, yeah I've already done it. Fuck. I've already done it for a few weeks. Yeah, yeah the, the, the chemistry's people. getting there. <laughs> yeah, she's getting there. I've never met before. Hey, we're fucking now. <laughs> the socks was one of the worst. Yeah, it was horrible, lad, isn't it? Yeah. If you. It's not a kink, it's not a sexual kink, it's a, it's just... Um, it's a feel an, safe, isn't it? A, a, a being saved, sort of, un, underdog, I'm a cute oh. girl. It's not sexual, though. I've never masturbated to it, me thinking myself. Oh, oh, what's more sinister, noncing or fantasising that you are a cute girl getting nonced? <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be a new layer of sinister. Even kids would be like, you fucking weird, you mate. <laughs> That is wrong. I'm of age, though. <laughs> You're just pretending to not be. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, He's into some stuff, this one. That's what, yeah. I, that's what I get off to. Mate. Well, don't get off to. But that's what we've discussed in the past. Um, so we want I to remake um, that. I haven't uh, drunk any drinks. I don't, because we don't podcast. Anymore. And I have needed to go for a plop for about 20 minutes. Have you? <laughs> Yeah, genuinely. Oh. If if you put if you watch it back like that, I'd be going, <laughs> Tony Bellew. <laughs> Try to squeeze it back up. Oh, I feel alive, boys. I feel alive. But yeah, um, everything's going well, Dan. What about the tour? Have you got a, you're on the tour? Is yeah, you know? tour. DanNightingale yeah. dot up playing yes. all the big places: Colwyn Bay, Nantwich, <laughs> South Shields. Tickets surprisingly available for all of those places. Wow. 
uh, Adam and I challenged each other to do each other's intro songs for a, the tour. Oh, what um, was... So I went, um, right, said Fred, I'm too sexy, because I thought it'd be really funny to have, I'm too sexy. And because I'm starting my tour in Belfast and Dublin, 3rd and 4th of September 2022, he wants to choose the national anthem. Why to do get we, me murdered. Do England and Ireland not get on or something? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some well, well, while you're There's fantasizing a about the <laughs> 16-year-old in little white socks... <laughs> There has been a little 80. bit of a to do yeah. in uh, the <laughs> northern <laughs> part of Ireland. No, 80. He can't do that, can he? So I, yeah, he but can't. he's a psycho, though, isn't he? So yeah. do you know, um, I love him. And, yeah. you know, and my financial future is weirdly tied to him. Yeah. But he is a mental. Yeah, he's. So I could be walking out in Belfast to God save our great. Oh. Did you hear about when Harry Stacchini, when he did. Uh, Belfast do the Tuesday night show they yeah, have there at the, at the embassy is it I'm not sure Empire maybe Empire, yeah, um, the Empire, so it. Harry Stakine is a good lad and everything um, good comic um, he <laughs> his dad was a policeman so he had material on it and now he's like one of the friendliest comic you know he's, yeah, he's dead, like really you know, nice really he? nice kind of a, um, affable really likeable person isn't he, on stage and everything he is off stage as well but he goes on so so, um, you know, uh, so growing up, uh, it was like slick parents. Uh, my dad was a policeman, um, and he, one voice just went, kneecaps. <laughs> How fucking oh. sinister is that? Yeah. <laughs> so you could that. get a bit If you're a young comic and off the curb get in touch and say, do you want to go fly over to Northern Ireland to play uh, the Empire? We'll pay for your flights and a hotel and you'll get a fee. It's not because they think you're the best comedian ever. It's because no one says yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I'll be honest, I've played it three <clears throat> times and fucking loved the second and third. Really? The first one. I was a bit too inexperienced. It was a bit too close to Christmas and they weren't in the mood for my... Well, do you like a riffic, the cloud? Like, like, like no, Radio Forest? It's just, you know... There's a Belfast is a hard working class city with yeah. a history. I'm fucking speaking for Northern Ireland and all that, but um, there's there's a history in there, yeah, and yeah. you can get over that if you if you're really good. Yeah, yeah. If you walk on and you know what you're doing and you're up to scratch, yeah. like the people of Belfast aren't sat there with like a sectarian <laughs> chip on the shoulder going, yeah. "Hey, will not listen to any <laughs> of the shade." Yeah, yeah. You can win them over, you but it's be, like be. it's like being a Londoner going to Liverpool yeah. or Newcastle. You know, it's like being a Mancunian who comes to Liverpool. There might be a little bit of like, oh, fucking hell, who's this? You know, like there's always that sort of vibe. Yeah, sure. But as soon as you're great, you win them over. Oh, yeah, of course. And obviously yeah. there's a bit more of a hump to get over yeah. in Ireland. But as soon as you're good enough, everyone's like, yeah, it's class. And then your best mates after as well. I just That's didn't have the pr- props. Yeah. And I got spooked. And I got a fucking... Yeah, fucking yeah. from yeah. the... <laughs> so, uh, I can't oh, even remember what you did. Did you go back down because you wanted to try and... Or could like... Yeah, the Think like I'll have a go, or was it just? Yeah, because yeah. you know, in all, I'm now at the point with uh, stand up where I am only doing gigs that I want to do yeah, because yeah. the 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 pod is is paying the bills and it's yeah. dead sweet, it's great. The tour, like Adam's tour, is fucking mental Mental-ish. big. So like yeah. mine's, it was meant to be twelve dates. Yeah. It's going to end up at twenty six, twenty seven oh, dates, and <laughs> apart from a few like. A few because of geography might not sell out, but the rest is going to sell out. Yeah, and it's, it's it's sort of life changing. Yeah, but yeah. It, w- on a very like immediate sense, in a, in an immediate sense, I can now just gig where I want to gig. So tonight I'm gigging at Hot Water and doing this, yeah. and I don't have to think about a fee because I'm sound. Yeah, I just want yeah, to do yeah, this yeah. gig. And but now other it's times, go, other times it's like oh, put money in, you know, in, and that's what you that's what you yeah. feel like. When yeah, I first you met full you, term, yeah, yeah, I, full, full I had to do six gigs a week. <coughs> yeah, to pay to get, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. I'm now I'm just doing gigs. Nice. I want to. I don't want to drive for too long. I want to do yeah. nice gigs for nice people. Here I am. Um, that's what but I mean, there like, are also gigs like around. I want to have like collect. So in Dublin, there's a gig called um, the International. It's been running for years, and it's been handed down from comedian. To comedian, yeah, yeah. and uh, it the sixty people. It sells out every night, and they don't have a microphone. But it's a legendary gig in Dublin that I've always wanted to do. Yeah, that's great, that. But it, but you're like, well, I need to earn X amount of money from my gigs. I am now <laughs> going to try next year to just get in at the uh, uh, in gigs. the international, go yeah, over, yeah, stay in a that. hotel because I want to tick. And it's the yeah. same thing with the Empire, like 
when you're a comic, you want to play everywhere yeah. and you want to say that you've done it. And um, yeah, the Empire was one of those where I'd heard about it, it was legendary. Like Patrick Keelty used to be the fucking master of it in the like late nineties. Tiernan as well. Uh, uh, yeah, like these these absolute monsters of Irish comedy that yeah. you've heard of bossed that gig and made it legendary. Like the Frog is in Manchester, like Hot Water now is in Liverpool. Yeah. And I went and sort of ate my balls for twenty five minutes, yeah. Yeah. and I got off stage, went back to the hotel. The Northern Irish headliner was like, "All right, fucking don't worry about it. Oh, don't yeah. worry about it." Dead nice. <laughs> You could tell he was like, fucking Dave. <laughs> and shade. And I, I went away, left it three or four years, yeah, four, got four the call thing. from off the curb, who'd forgotten that I'd died, yeah. and uh, went back and had a fucking blinder. Austria, so it is yeah. a great gig. But um, there's a lot to be said for... You've got to pay the bills as a comic, and that's great. But there's also these these gigs that you sort of you want to do. Like the, the, the Laughter Lounge in Dublin I've not done. I want to do that yeah, as well, yeah. and... There's now gigs where you could probably I want to say that I've done it. Yeah, you could probably work out now, Dan, because you've done it that long and you won't probably know which ones, but you might be able to take off nearly every comedy club. Yeah, and yeah. These are ones in, in, the, in the whole country. Imagine that to say uh, that you could, you've could, you done everything, you know what I mean? That'd be fucking brilliant. Yeah, you know I mean? it's, it's one of them. Like I, I went that to, far away with it. I went Admiral, to Aberdeen Admiral because Rodney, I wanted to. Yeah. Admiral Rodney for Spiky Mike. Yeah, Admiral Rodney for Spiky Mike. <laughs> Just near where my wife's from, actually. <laughs> um, and the big one is the store, because I've never played the store, yeah. but... Uh, Simon that works there and Adam basically worked it out and now I came right, with the right now, yeah. Brilliant. That's good, that. So that's going to be a yeah. big tick but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the Empire was one that I just I wanted to say that I'd, I'd yeah. I wanted it in the like you know what I mean you want to say that you've done it would yeah, you say it's kind of I mean just in case you've wanted has it reinvigorated your love for it i.e. it's not oh, I'm 20 minutes on a Wednesday it's going through the motions and not dead behind the eyes, but Joe, has it reinvigorated? I'm doing gigs I love and I'm just having a buzz now. Well, I was never dead behind the eyes anyway. Like I, like, I tried to turn over stuff. I tried to do Edinburgh, even though it went fucking nowhere. Mm. But now the pod is paying the bills and the tour is, is the autumn. Yeah. It means that when I'm gigging on the circuit, I'm constantly thinking about what goes in the tour show. Mm. Yeah, Because yeah. after 20 years of being a circuit comic, yeah. getting your first chance to do a tour... I am hoofing that fucking tour. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. if you yeah. buy a ticket to the 14 <laughs> quid, you'll get value out yeah, of it. Yeah, I yeah. might not be your favourite comedian ever, well, but you will not get to the end and go, he didn't even try. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We fucking grind it. Yeah. I, I saw yeah, yeah. Um, your previous show, Sex, Drugs and Minana's Bungalow, yeah, is it called? Yeah. I saw that twice and it was fucking fire. Was it, it was just an hour of ripping it. Yeah. And do you know that like Edinburgh? Well, that's what I'm bit, trying to do with the tour. Yeah, right? that's it. And there's this sort of... I don't know if it's an unwritten rule, but it's like you've got to have a bit of pathos in, and it's like, oh, fucking, no, just rip it for an hour. Why can't you just rip it for an hour? And, yeah. And be less. I tried to play the game with that show as well and did the bit where my nana died, and then actually I made the sad bit the fact that my trampoline got blown over in the gale, which was a really good bait and switch. But I, um, it's weird with the circuit now because, like Freddie was saying, oh, you've, you're not on the circuit anymore. I absolutely am. Yeah, I'm yeah, doing yeah, gigs yeah, on the circuit, yeah, yeah. but. I'm just I'm choosing what I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm sort of like, I'm like this, like it feels like I'm just doing it because I want to prepare the tour and that's where it's been reinvigorated yeah. because I'm not turning up going, oh shit, I'll just do my headline set yeah, and yeah, fuck yeah. off. Yeah. Every gig I'm doing, I'm trying a new bit or it's, getting this bit like, yeah, yeah. and it gives it all a bit of purpose and I'm yeah. really enjoying that. And I, this is, it feels so nice to say. I just don't work for cunts anymore. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, all of the cunts that you now, as a professional act, will have to deal with. Yeah. I like them Enjoy. all. Enjoy, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm free. Saturday, twenty sixth oh. of Feb. There's just most yeah. most promoters on the on the circuit are, are great guys. Yeah. Are great, co- like I've just been fans saying, of comedy. Just been but saying, there's some bellends. Yeah, just been saying to Jamie, oh, yes, yes, he's record that. Obviously, we'd, I've been in and out and. And they get it back into it. I done hot water a few weeks ago and fucking really, really had a good gig. Like it was all brand new stuff as well. Where normally I've always went back and done, you know, wait, st- safe stuff because I didn't want to. You and me, you and me are almost doing the same thing at yeah, the moment. Yeah, yeah. You've got this and your like job, yeah, and then yeah. it's a nice it's feeling. Just, to it's, it's lovely that I'm just now. And I, and I want to just want to be doing it. I've just took on an MC gig. I've never MC in all these ten, ten years. I've done in out stand up. I've never MC the gig, so I've just took a small MC gig in a in a little little little, little put in town, but. I just I, w- I want to start doing things that I, I haven't done. So MC, and every, everyone's always said to me, oh, I'd be a good MC. I'd be, you know what I mean? And I, and I know I would, but I've never had the confidence to do it. So now, 
because I don't because I don't care. Like not, not I don't care. I lo- I'm I'm doing it for the love again now. You know what I mean? Not not trying to be a comedian or trying to make a wage out of it. I'm you, that comfortable now. You I get just freedom, do, freedom, yeah. So yeah. I would just I'm really looking forward to say it. goodbye to that. I'm available. I'll, I'll do for any. Admiral Rodney's. I'll do yeah. any dead behind the eyes gig in Doncaster. <laughs> for I'm really two's love. drinking. <laughs> Practice that, <laughs> yeah. But I'm really looking forward to to, to, to set this MC gig. Like, I, I just I, I just can't wait for it. It's great having you back, uh, be, like being part of this and being part of the have a word, like, and also gigging again. Not just because you're a good comic, but also because my dream is to be gigging in Liverpool when you're gigging in Liverpool, yeah. and then walk around Liverpool to all the nightclubs, yeah, yeah. like you're fucking Tony Soprano, oh. <laughs> and I'm one of your goons. Yeah, I yeah. can't oh, wait. Yeah, God. Like I'm, yeah. I'm with fucking Carol, mate. I'm with TC. Are you with TC? <laughs> everyone's kissing the ring. Like TC, yeah. cannot. Yeah, fucking no, wait. It's, it's good. It's good. You I'm, know, you know uh, every. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get, a, yeah, I get a good fucking, I get a good uh, following. Like the awkward to support. So it's nice. <laughs> the awkward to support. I want to go to oh, nine yes. nightclubs in yeah. one night. Just because <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I'm tired of here. What's the water? Evian! <laughs> We're leaving! <laughs> Fucking Grey Goose! Yeah. It's a chip in this glass! <laughs> the next nightclub! <laughs> Fucking LTC's pissed off. Brilliant. Can't wait. Yeah. Just fucking ski oh, there yeah. on cocaine. Woo! <laughs> shh, shh, shh. We could do the same in Bucky's of Manchester if no, you I'm want. Right, I'm all right. I, I want to do cocaine. I want to spe- high chicken I want and spend snow. some Patreon money. <laughs> hot chicken and snow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. A night out with Tony Carroll who knows everyone on the club scene in Liverpool. Yeah. Sounds way more exciting than going around the William Hills of Open Shore. <laughs> No, no, that's bullshit. There's a Labrox in all the shores. I know all the shores. Oh, I can get him six to one elsewhere, mate. I'll get, I'll get him six to one, lad. That's how much you sent him. Hey, this is how much you know me. They'll let you smoke inside. <laughs> we'll do that, mate. Sweet. Should we call that yeah. a P-cast? So. Just before we finish, make sure you go and support Dan's tour this year. So where can you find the tickets, Dan? DanNightingale.com. It's on the front page. The website is absolutely redundant apart from selling tour tickets. <laughs> www. For the nunners, DanNightingale.com. It would be much appreciated. Make sure you go out and, and, and if, if you're in any of the places where Dan's playing, make sure you support Dan. He's absolutely fantastic comedian. Absolute OG of the circuit. We've known him a long time and he's a fucking absolute fantastic comedian. As he said, you'll not be disappointed. He's put a lot of work into this tour, so go out and support him. Also, if you don't already know it, I'm sure you've been living under a rock. Um, have a word podcast, um, patreon.com slash have a word pods. Yeah, and right? also yeah. the leather shop is <laughs> just near <laughs> Central Station in the centre of Liverpool. And if you use discount code, there isn't a discount code. <laughs> You've got to pay full price, but they'll be dead nice and they'll let you smoke inside. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> If you want early access to these episodes, go on to Hot Wilds Green Room Pods, um, become a member, three pound a month, get forty eight hours early access and a bonus episode each week. Tony, where can they find you, mate? Yeah, uh, at Tony Carroll fourteen. That's my favourite number. I don't pretend to be fourteen. Yeah, he <laughs> does. <laughs> Little fucking socks, and I'm just I'm scared. But then you come in and you're my dad, but you're not my dad. <laughs> and you fuck my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jamie H. Comedy or oh. Little Miss Truffit. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm at Dan Has a Podcast. <laughs> Thank you. Thank See you very much. Cheers. Bye.